respect that I'm in feels too big without you. What's up, me and Jess fam? It's your girl Jess back again with another video. You guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't so long to bring this video, right? I even know pretty running on in my head right now. I am sorry. So, acceptance is the first step. I know I took long. I had a good amount of people asking me how I do my wash days. Wash days is always a big thing, especially for Corsi girls. Ain't nobody never gonna understand our struggle. It is and can be a very tedious process, but y'all, I found something that really works for me. Something that has really helped me with my wash days. The struggle ain't even there no more, y'all. I could tell y'all that since I've been washing my hair this way, since I've been doing my wash days this way, things has been so much easier for me. I recommend this from the bottom of my heart. I've been doing it for about six, seven months now, and I have noticed so many changes in my wash day in my hair so much less breakage y'all know sometimes i used to wonder and ask myself like why i have so much breakage on wash days i don't know if any of y'all has experienced like experienced that but for me like i could be in the bathroom for a good 15 minutes just picking up hair off the floor and it's like why my hair breaking so much during wash day and i have finally found the remedy y'all and i am so excited because y'all deserve this content if you're interested in seeing how I do my wash day, please keep watching this video. I'm disclaiming right now, it will take a while, okay? It's gonna take you some time, but I promise you you're gonna love it. I promise you you're gonna see the benefits of it if you keep watching this video. I dare you to try it once and then tell me if you think the long process was worth it. Keep watching. Okay guys, so I like to begin this process by thoroughly detangling my hair. Um, I like to go in by spraying my hair with salt water and then I use a conditioner. Just now I used Suave. Um, I don't really keep consistent with what kind of conditioner I use. I just <laughs> use whatever conditioner I have. But you must note that it doesn't have to be an expensive one. I just need something to help detangle my hair, give me some slip. Um, and I just like to be able to twist up my hair afterwards. That's the key once it's already been detangled because this is how I'm going to wash my hair in these twists, right? So here I'm just going to go back again, spraying my hair with the water, um, getting it as cleared out as possible from the beginning. And I like to finger detangle at this point. I don't use combs during my wash day. Um... I'm going to go back in with some more conditioner hair. Not using a lot, just enough to get my hair fully detangled. And then I like to go back in with this brush. I It's from Careco. I got it from Walmart. It has like the bendable grooves. Um, I, If I could find it, I'll post it in the description box below. But it's a really, really good brush for detangling. And I just go ahead and twist it up. And then I'm going to go ahead and complete the rest of my head. So now I'm in the shower, I'm rinsing all of that conditioner out. I had completely rinsed, I had completely twisted, sorry, all of my hair um, after I had already detangled it. Yeah, so now at this point I'm just rinsing out my hair fully and I'm using really hot water to do this, as hot as I could take it. Some people say, oh, don't make it too hot, but y'all like this is be washing my hair with that hot water. The same hot water I used to bathe, the same hot water I used to wash my hair. I do not take out the twist. I'll say that again. I wash my hair in twists. So I'm going to go in with this Shea Moisture. I think it's Black Castor. Black Jamaican Castor Oil Shampoo. Restorative and Conditioning Shampoo, something like that. If I can find it again, I'll post it in the description box below. But this is the only shampoo that I use, guys. Like, the only one. Um, it does not strip my hair at all. It cleans my scalp really well. And it doesn't look like it's like, behemoths would say, soapy and up. It doesn't look like it's really giving me a good lather, but it really does clean my hair well. Um, and I know that, so I use it. Some people might say, oh, well, if you don't see suds, your hair isn't clean. My hair gets clean with this, and it stays moisturized afterwards. And at this point, I mean, of course, I wash my hair more than once with the shampoo at this time. Um, but it mainly cleans my hair pretty pretty well. I just go ahead and rinse all that out. 
and once I've already rinsed all of that out I go ahead with some more shampoo because I just want to make sure my hair is clean um, sometimes I keep my protective styles in for almost up to a month <laughs> and I have a very active moisturizing process through that time so I want to make sure I get as much as that product out of my hair as possible is really important to me um, and I think the hot water really helps. If you're not someone that likes to wash it in hot water, I'm not sure how this is going to work for you, especially if you follow a lot of things that I do, because I'm not big on product, but there are a few staples that I stick to, and at wash day, I like to really get those out. So now I'm just going to rinse the second batch of shampoo out of my hair, taking my time and really making sure that I get that out. Um, sometimes twists may come down, like you can see now I'm retwisting a twist. Sometimes a twist may come out during this process, but once I feel it, I just go ahead, twist it back up. I find it very sad that a lot of people don't wash their napes. <laughs> a lot of people don't give their napes the love and attention that they should, but as much as I wash my edges and wash the top and wash the middle, I make sure the back of my neck the back of my hair, sorry, my napier really gets a good scrub as well, so that's important to me. So y'all could also go ahead right now and just pretend like you don't see me talking. I'm just going to do a voiceover for this part because it's going to be easier. But in this spray bottle, guys, I made a aloe vera conditioner. I said it. I made it myself. Um, I think that it's a great, great treatment to use. I've been doing it probably now for about three months, maybe, whenever I have the aloe. Recently got some aloe plants, thanks to my wonderful father and my grandmother, who I love so much. But yeah, I made it with the aloe, and I put it in the spray bottle from the night before because I knew I was going to be doing this video for you guys, and I never let it sleep out overnight, so I'm not sure how that would work. But yeah, and then I'm also going to be using um, Shea Moisture's Honey and Manuka deep treatment I love that y'all like it is amazing I wouldn't use the aloe treatment by itself because it's not very moisturizing and I think of aloe treatment to be more of like a protein and you know us fussy girls especially when our hair can be more drier than other textures we need that deep condition like we need that we need protein too but we need that moisture so I go ahead and I just use both. Um, I start by spraying on that aloe treatment. It really has great slip, you guys. Um, a video for how I make this conditioner is coming soon. I'm more than glad to share that with you guys. But I go ahead and I just spray that on my hair and I really have good slip from this product. Then I go in with my Honey Manuka treatment. I love that. Now this is the truth. Like. Every person that I've ever heard use this is absolutely in love with it. You could see here that it has so much slip. It almost tells you immediately that, you know, like, girl, I put a moisturizer here for you. And you're going to appreciate it. Appreciate it so much. Look. Gee. That's it. That's how it's supposed to be, y'all. For real. And I go ahead at this point and twist my hair back up again because, like I said before... I do not wash my hair out of twists anymore and I'll do a separate video for y'all as to why but y'all I wash my hair in twists and it's a religious thing I just go ahead and do that throughout my entire head it's so important this aloe is life like literally I mean and together, I feel like they really, really make a good combination. I've done it a few times. Um, but I would tell you it is a lot of product, considerably a lot of product, combining aloe and this deep treatment. So, you know, it's really important that when you already put this in your hair, especially because you're going to close your hair back up now to rinse that out, it's so important that you really rinse that properly. Like, take your time each twist. Rinse it properly, man, else your product really won't come out. Yes, guys, so now I'm at the top of my hair. This is my last twist I'm doing. I've already twisted away all of the rest of my twists. Clipped them back. It's easier for me. Um, I go ahead now and just spray some aloe treatment. I was supposed to tell you guys that this is really messy, so 
I recommend putting a towel down. It's going to make cleanup so much more easier because um, it's a really liquidy kind of product. Then I go in with some Honey Manuka treatment from Shea Moisture, like I said before. And I really, really apply that to my hair, trying to coat each strand, getting the front, making sure that my edge line also receives product. And I just go ahead and I twist that away as well. I take my time and whatever product I have left on my hand because there's so much product um, I just go ahead and rub that through my hair I try to make sure that every strand gets product that I don't waste any and I go ahead and I spray the same aloe treatment on my edges I think that it really helps with strengthening my edges it does work for me um, so I recommend it to you guys I try to apply that to the middle of my hair as well where it doesn't grow as long as the back or it doesn't grow as quickly I should say because it's not like really short but it's not as long as the back and the top of my head so I give the middle a little love and then I go in with my shower cap y'all I'm telling you I miss I miss the food store bags no cap I know it's for a good cause I know I know I just miss them because they really used to fit all of my hair but let's save the turtles right so yeah i'm gonna use this shower cap because i'm saving turtles over here i'm all about saving the turtles and the dolphins and even though all of my hair doesn't fit that's okay because now i'm gonna get my sleep cap the same sleep cap that i sleep in every night my silk one it's cheetah print <laughs> i go ahead and i put that on my head and i think it really helps to trap the heat in so that my hair really really you know has a deep deep conditioning and i go ahead and put my daddy time on i love him babe because i just be using up his things such a great father and he never complains yep and i just go ahead and i put that on and i allow that to sit for at least like as long as i can let it sit man because right now i'm about to go cook so let it sit all the time Okay y'all, so it's literally like 10 o'clock in the night. I have literally recorded my last video at 5 p.m. Literally. <laughs> like I told y'all I had to cook, so by the time I had already come downstairs to cook, and then we didn't have some of the things that I needed to cook, so I had to run to the store, I had to cook, but I was already cook, I had to eat, I was going eat. It was 9 o'clock. Like, no cap. So, yeah, it's 10 o'clock now, because I've already rinsed out my um, treatment fully like root to tip root to tip each one um, because my hair was in twist I really took about 15 minutes like thoroughly washing the product out of my hair in the shower because I didn't lose all my twists I'm not about that um, when I do my wash days I wash my hair in twist like every time the water touches my hair in the shower I am doing it in twist it just makes my wash day so much easier um, it makes my whole process so much easier. easier. Um, so yeah, that's just how I do it. Um, like I said before, though, if you're gonna do it like how I do it and wash your hair in twists, please take time to wash the product out because you will have product build up if you don't take the time. Like I literally be in the shower lifting up each twist, each one, so that I really like clean my scalp off of that product. That is so important. I don't, I can't stress that enough. So. Just to recap, today's wash day, because y'all, it's been a long wash day. I've been doing this from 2 o'clock. Um, I started off by detangling conditioner and water. Thoroughly put my hair in twist. Then after I put my hair in the twist, I went ahead and washed my hair, shampooed with my shampoo. Um, then after I did that, I came back out. After I rinsed the shampoo out, I came out of the shower and I applied my aloe treatment and my honey manuka treatment. And then twisted that back up, went back in the shower, rinsed it out, and now I am here. Um, so that is my wash day. That is how I do my wash day. I love doing my wash day in twist. I will not do it any other way. Um, a lot of people think that it's a long process, and it really is. But in terms of breakage during wash day, it has been cut down tremendously. Um, in terms of time and struggle, because my hair is cleared out the whole time it makes the process so much easier i used to be one of the people that thought that youtubers did too much washing their hand twist and opening it up to put treatment and closing it back up but when you actually do it you realize that look this is what we need it will save you like literally it will 
it really will i did it maybe twice um after i watched a few youtubers that did it and i was like you know let me just give it a try all right i washed it in twist and then the third time i did it i didn't wash it in twist and i automatically regretted it even when i tried to wash um put it in twist right before i put the treatment it just wasn't the same my hair was already tangled up <sighs> y'all just do it from the beginning i promise you maybe you have to learn the hard way in order to get it but you will see just try it once and you will honestly understand where you're coming from it is a lot of work but probably it's just like not a noise in the back just do <laughs> yeah so if i don't record this that you can get records so y'all just ignore i click all the way out of noise in the back there okay but yeah i love my family i wouldn't replace them anyway so this is how i do my wash day i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's anything that i did not add to this that y'all don't understand oh by the way i use a t-shirt to dry my hair because someone asked me that like a week ago in my dms like what i used to dry my hair i used towel because i'm a towel or t-shirt because that's a big conversation in the Australia community i use a t-shirt it's really the easiest thing i have three brothers one of which i live with and a whole daddy and they always have these white tees sorry just think because i shot this your air force nice white tee i know i get my stuff but used love you yeah so i just use my daddy big t-shirt excellent day like my grandma say seco dance <laughs> it really works well so that's all i do guys love you guys so much don't forget to subscribe comment below let me know what you want to see let me know if i left out anything because some people have been dming me about stuff that they want me to um answer about my wash day i think i covered everything if i didn't please just let me know i'm sorry okay my brain ain't big enough i love y'all don't forget to subscribe don't forget to comment don't forget to like don't forget to come back because i love you bye <laughs> this bed that i'm in feels too big without you don't know how to quit thinking about you